When it comes to your model shoot, lighting is the single most important thing to look out for. Things to consider in your lighting are the direction of the light, the intensity of the light, and the overall feel of the lighting conditions. In general, the whole idea is to have one main light source. You don't really want to have cross lighting and multiple shadows as it tends to look unnatural. So in this example, what we have is we have our key light over here. We have a little bit of fill on the left, just brightening up the face a touch. And overall, we've got sort of medium intensity on the background and a little bit of light falling on the front. And what we can see here is we've got a little bit of shadow coming off, which is great. It's quite a soft shadow, but nevertheless, you can tell that there's a very particular lighting direction. This is great because what it's doing is it's adding a little bit of contrast and that really can bring out texture and add a tiny bit more mood to it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reduce the light onto the background so the light is, is reducing in intensity as it goes further away from the subject. Yeah? So the light's really falling off and we get a nice sort of vignetted dark area around and, and our subject is lit quite contrastedly in the middle. I've got my reflector here and I'm just going to turn it to black. What that does is it reduces the amount of light being bounced back into Juliet's face here so we have an even more contrasty look. And really now I'm lighting up this area just around her face and chest so you can really see the fall off on her face now from quite intensely lit over to no light whatsoever. Now I've got everything back to uh, our initial lighting setup. We've got the background on full intensity, the foreground on full intensity, my key light is on full intensity, and I've got the reflector on the left hand side reflecting light back in. And uh, can you see the difference there? This is a much more neutral overall light. We've got less shadowing on the floor. Overall, we're able to see the full tone of the product that we're shooting. Now we're gonna move on to something softer uh, and more overall. So we get coverage everywhere and reduce down these shadows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my key light and I'm just gonna angle it away from the model and onto my bounce board. And now I've got a lot less shadowing around the bottom. So we still have a, a particular light direction, but our light's being spread out and bounced around a lot more so that we're filling in the shadows. So I'm gonna keep the, the, the soft light at the front, and now I just wanna dial down the background a tiny bit and the foreground. What this effect is doing is I still got a very overall soft light on my subject but the background has been dialed down. What that does is it tends to pull the model away from the background and separate them from the background so that we're really focusing on our subject and on the products that we're trying to highlight. So as you can see in these very simple examples, just moving lights around, adding a little bit of reflection and playing with the intensities, we get some very, very strikingly different results. When it comes to video, be aware some of the effects that you've put onto your stills might not be suitable for video. When the model is walking in and out or moving around, you might have big harsh shadows falling on the background. So if you have a look now, we see a very intense shadow on the side, which is great for our stills. But uh, Julia, if you just walk around for me a second. So as the model walks in, you see this huge shadow being cast on the background, which can be quite distracting. So if you intend to shoot videos and stills on the same set, you may want to choose a lighting setup that works for both. It might be easier for your customer to understand that this is the same product with the same lighting, keeping it nice and consistent. So hopefully these tips will be your toolkit to achieve many different styles and effects with your lighting.